Hi, this is Chris Young, and welcome to Good News on Tap for the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. My dad and I have a running joke between us when we're watching football games, and the referee calls some obscure penalty. And you've got to admit, they've got some pretty strange ones. It almost sounds like they're saying, like, if you're a defensive tackle and the quarterback handed off the ball and then got it back again, and it's the third Tuesday of the month in the second quarter, then you're only allowed to hit him above the waist on the left side unless it's a leap year. Or something like that. The rules are just crazy. Anyway, when one of these really obscure rules comes into play, the thing my dad and I always do is we turn to each other and say, they got too many damn rules. And then anyone who's ever read an income tax form or tried to figure out insurance claims or Medicare, they probably said the same thing. Too many damn rules. Well, today's readings are all about rules and what happens when we break them. I think sometimes we get so caught up in debates about what is legal or not legal that we forget why the rules are there in the first place. People who debate the specifics of what is legal claim to be very respectful of the law. But what they're really saying is, how bad can I be before I cross the line? And you hear it all the time, people say, how many questionable tax deductions can I take before I get audited? Or my favorite one is, how many miles an hour over the speed limit can I drive without getting a ticket? That's not respect for the law. People say that laws are important so we know when we've crossed the line. But they're really saying, I need to know where that line is so I can tiptoe up to it and walk along it like walking a tightrope or something. And, of course, it's our human nature that sometimes we stumble. And if we're tiptoeing across that line, sometimes we stumble across the line. They say, oops, I just stumbled, but I crossed the line. And a better attitude is to say, I know there's a line way over there somewhere, but I want to stay as far away from the line as I can get. That way, when I stumble, I'll know I would not have stumbled and crossed the line. When I teach my religion classes, sometimes I tell a story. Suppose you're about to be married, you're engaged, and your spouse comes to you and says, Darling, you know I love you very much, and I really want our marriage to succeed. And you say, Yeah, I, I do too. And you say, And I would never want anything to, to cause us to break up or get a divorce. And you say, Well, yeah, okay, I, I don't want a divorce either. We're just now getting married. And then he'd say, so I want you to tell me what's the absolute minimum that I have to do in order to make the marriage succeed. That way I know I'll never cross that line and you'll never want to divorce me. Well, if someone said that to you, you'd say, hey, there's the door. I'm not going to marry you in the first place. If you're only going to do the minimum necessary, that's ridiculous. But isn't that the same thing we do with God sometimes? Every time we ask a question like, is that a sin, we're really saying, how bad can I be before you'll send me to hell? How bad can I be before I get caught? Now, God understands that we're weak and we do stumble, we fall, we make mistakes. It's part of human nature. But he's sitting there waiting to forgive us. In the Old Testament reading today, he forgave David for literally murdering his neighbor just to be with his wife. Uh, in the second reading, Paul explains we don't get to heaven by following the law. We get to heaven because Christ died for our sins and forgives our mistakes. We get to heaven through God's forgiveness. And in the gospel today, Jesus forgave the woman of her sins because she was repentant. She was sorry for her sins. And he, he sort of gave a, a one-up to the Pharisees who were saying, oh, you shouldn't associate with sinners. You know, they were the legalistic, nitpicker kind of people who were always wanting to, to, to tiptoe up to that line to see how bad can I be. They said they respected the law, but again, it was how bad can I be before I get caught. Jesus was telling them, don't worry about the letter of the law, worry about the spirit of the law. Are you asking for God's forgiveness? Are you willing to forgive? So we need rules and laws to help remind us what we need to be doing in our life. 
but we cannot simply live by the rules as our only guide. We need to go beyond the rules. We need to stop asking, how bad can I be before I'm too bad? Instead, say, I know that I'll fail, but when I ask for God's forgiveness, he will forgive me. And the way that I show my appreciation for his forgiveness, rather than my appreciation for the law, is to try to walk in his light and stay away from that line rather than to try to tiptoe up to it. If we do that, we don't have to worry about will we get to heaven because God will be there anxiously waiting to welcome us home. And that's Good News on Tap for the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time.